You look like shit for a rich fuck. Well, that's because I didn't have the benefit of having my face moisturized by convicts coming on a day and night. Sandy. Yeah. You're spitting image of your grandfather. Fuck you, Jim. Who do we have over here? Oh, jeez. It's your half-breed, right? It's Claudette's kid. Wow. All grown up. Stupid fuck. I always told you to keep your pecker in your pants and you never listen. And oh, look what you got over there. What's that supposed to mean? It means I want you to come over here and shine my fucking shoes. <laughs> this guy. You always had the knack of saying the nastiest fucking things. Mick, I'm not, I'm not as patient as I was when we were kids, so spare me all the fucking Donovan gobshite. What you're doing now, Jimmy, is laboring under a misapprehension. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You think you're talking to the person I was. But that man is dead. He didn't die easy, Jim. Came in parts. But it all started with the heist. When the heist went bad, and you set me up for prison. You're a pain in the ass, right? You're always fucking up jobs. I did everybody a favor getting your uh, loser ass off the street. When I come back home, my poor wife is dead. My boy hates me. My sweet little girl jumped to her death. All my dreams fucked. But that pain did to me what flame does to wood, everything unnecessary burnt away. And what's left, Jimmy, is hardened.